morning, I'm Paola Longo, I'm a civil engineer and a PhD student of Polytechnic University of Bari, in the CATEC department, in particular in the roads department. My tutor is Prof. Inge Vittorio Ranieri. My study is born in the context of the road safety and the title that I've done to my project is Exploratory Analysis of Electric Scooter Crashes in the City of Bari. The deep dance toward collective transport following the pandemic period, together with technological advances, arise some questions. Road safety analysis of e scooter mobility is urgent due to the rapid shift from traditional means of transport to new vehicles such as e scooters. The aim of this research is to analyze the safety problem related to the use of e scooters and identify the most frequent, frequent ones. The starting point of this research is the analysis of a crash database provided by the local policy of the city of Bari. The database counts 166 crashes during the period May 2020, December 2021. The research is based on different steps. The overall goal of this research is understanding the safety issues encountered by people driving e scooters, a still unknown issue. And so the starting point consists in analyzing the available e scooter crash data stored by the local police of the city of Bari. It recorded the 166 crashes occurred in the period of May 2020, December 2021. Consider also the property damage only crashes. The aim is to analyze crashes in detail and find patterns to understand the causes and factors with the greatest impact on the crash phenomenon. The available data will be compared with e scooter traffic volumes of the last two years they started to become popular in the city of Bari in 2020 to obtain crash rates. The final aim is to develop a crash predictive model ad hoc for e scooters and so the study of the actual data collection is necessary for the research. The database provides the following information for each recorded crash. Data, time, crash type, number of type of involved vehicles, location, severity and type of traffic violation. The parameters used to analyze the crashes were posted speed limit, average daily traffic per lane, presence of and location of parking, road condition and type, presence of specialized lanes, type of intersection and presence of cycle path. Figure shows the results of the analysis illustrating which crash type happened most frequently on segments and intersection and make a distinction between three legs and four leg intersection and between one way and two way segments. This analysis shows that 23% of crashes occur as angle collisions, like Y crashes with the all other means of transport. This type of crash happens mainly at intersection, where the e-scooter is exposed to dangerous situations, since it takes a long time to cross the intersection and because of its small size and low speed. Another frequent type of crash is sideswipe, 22%, which take place especially because e scooters move in a mixed traffic but without driving assistance systems, such as rear view mirrors, and with speeds largely different than other vehicles that cause overthinking situations leading to cycle collisions. 
Fall from vehicle also constitutes a large portion of crashes, 17%, and can be due to the condition of the road surface or vehicle issues and driver destruction. As expected, among all crashes recorded, most crashes occur during summer and daylight. This aspect will be further investigated when these data will be compared with the traffic flow volumes of his, of his, of his scooter to determine crash rates. These results can be compared with those analyzed for crash with all other means of transport, in which the most frequent crash type along segments is single vehicle and pedestrian hit. The most frequent, frequent crash type at intersections is the angle collision. This difference shows how different means of transport are involved in different types of crashes as a result of different interaction and management of traffic condition. Fall from vehicle and other are neglected in all crash analysis except for e scooter safety investigation. The analysis conducted represent only a first step for a future research project, as the goal is to discover the relevant issues of e scooter traffic circulation, aiming at the development of prediction models, such as safety performance function, for e scooter and other micromobility means of transport. This analysis will be expanded and deepened by supplementing them with a comparison with other data such as the traffic volume of e scooters or other information that will help to understand in greater detail what causes these crashes. The final aim is to correlate infrastructural and non-infrastructure criticalities with crashes for planning appropriate mitigation strategies and or relevant policies. In conclusion, this research wants to provide an initial analytical and technical tool to give answers to the problem of micromobility crashes. Therefore, it's essential to study segments and intersections for modeling crashes and linking them to specific geometric parameters and find common trends and or significant, significant differences with the aim of funding the appropriate contributors and or promoting specific traffic policies. This is a first approach that certainly needs more in-deep studies, especially based in the research on a wider available e scooter dataset. So thank you for your kind attention.